During the uh, Commonwealth Fly Fishing Championships that were held in Tasmania, uh, the team was fishing on the South East River, River and there's lots of hoppers down there, so we were looking for a good hopper pattern uh, that was robust, would float well, and had a little bit of a hot spot in it um, to, to take our fish on. And that, out of that came a, a fly which we call the Commonwealth Hopper. Uh, so to start off with, we tie this on a, um, a Hannick hook, a all-rounder, so an H500BL all-rounder in a size 12. It's a good round little circle hook and works very well in this type of fly. Then we start off with a tan cylinder of foam which is about 1 8 or 3 millimetres. Now the first thing is we burn the end of this cylinder. So just burn a little bit and then roll that between your fingers. And what that will do is it will take it from being square to just rounding it off. Then we start off with a green thread, 8 o Lash that onto the uh, lash that onto the hook. Now the trick with this fly is you don't want to crowd the eye, so make sure we keep well back from the eye. So we're going to put our foam cylinder on there, and see it hangs out over the back of the uh, back of the hook, about a centimetre, and then working back towards the bend of the hook, we'll just lock that foam tube in place. That's looking good. Then we cut that off. Now we want to lash that all down so it's all nice and smooth. You can if you want put a little bit of um, head cement or whatever on at this stage but I find if you do this lashing, lashing down pretty well that holds pretty well on the hook. Now next stage is to put in our underwing. And for this I like to use Antron, so it's a tan Antron. So again we're going to tie that in, because we'll cut this off. This is one of those ones we'll cut off. A few wraps just to catch that, then we can chop this. Again, get that tied in nice and firm there. Come on. Want. And then we're going to cut that underwing off to length. Now, I'm not going to cut it off straight, I'm going to cut it on an angle. So we come up underneath, and I cut that on an angle, trim those bits off. That looks about right. So the reason we call that the underwing is now we're going to put on the, effectively the head and the overwing. So for that I'm using, you can use either elk hair or you can use deer hair. Uh, in this case it's, it's a deer hair but it's a, it's a summer one so it's not going to flare too much. And it's sort of a, a medium colour so we don't want it too dark. In fact it's possibly better off being on the light side than the dark side. Um, because hoppers, when you look at them from the underneath, which is where the trout sees them, they're actually really quite creamy coloured. So we cut off a good pinch of this, about that much. Okay, then we're going to just pull out the sort of the fluffy stuff underneath. There's not much on this, which is good. Put it into our hair stacker. Good belt. Then we take around this way for me being right handed. I'm going to grab the tips there. And then I'm going to transfer this into my left hand. Uh, now the trick here is we want to just measure this against the length of our fly. So that's about the same length as a fly. So I'm going to Come down to here, pop that in there, and that's where I'm going to tie it down in behind the in behind the eye. But don't cram the eye. So tie that in there, and then start to come forward, just trapping it as you come. Okay. Now you notice I'm still hanging on to that deer here. I haven't let go of it. Now I can insert my scissors and quite. Simply I can cut off quite a large amount of that deer hair all at once. You want to be careful here because of course we don't want to actually cut
cut off our underwing at the same time. Probably could have got a little bit more aggressive there. Just trim those up. How's that look on the other side? Okay, that's looking good. Now we're going to come over and we're just going to sit at the back with our thread of where we've where we've cut that deer hair off. Now for the final bit, we're going to force the deer hair back over and create a bullet head. So we're forcing that back over, stroking it down. I'm not fussed about it going all the way around the hook. I really just want it sitting on top and to the sides. And then catch that there, making our head. That's looking good. We've got a few little loose fibres out there at the front. Snip those off, you sometimes get those. Possibly should have stacked a little bit more. Then we're going to whip finish that. So that's the end of the green for this bit. Now we're going to change over to a fluoro bright orange. So this is what actually creates that really good little hot spot in this fly. Cut that off. Now I'm using my um, tarantula legs, or actually I think they're called centipede legs. All the different manufacturers call them different names. And there's all these really cool legs on the market that are coming out nowadays. Um, so experiment with them. There's gold ones, there's some which are UV, have UV highlights in them. This is a, a brown and orange leg, which I quite like. I think it's a good, good colour for a hopper. So tying them on either side, and the um, you can play a little around with the the length of your legs. I like my front legs to be a little bit shorter by and large than the um, than the rear legs. But normally I tie the um, tie the front ones into length, and then bring the two together for the rear legs, and just chop them off to make them about the same. So I've got those in there, and then again whip finishing around here. Being a little bit more careful because this is than we were with the green because this is the final whip finish on this. So it has to hold well. So I'm going to do that twice. And for added security I'm going to put a little bit of uh, head cement on that as well. So I've just got a little brush here. So a little bit of head cement on that side, bring it over, a little bit of head cement on that side as well. And that's the Commonwealth Hopper, very robust fly, um, excellent for suspending a, a bead under, should you, or you know, bead head nymph. Um, but I find that these will, these will fish all day, you'll catch plenty of fish in them, even when they're being ripped apart by the fish, you know, or they've raked all the deer hair, they still catch fish. So if you do find at any stage that they get completely sodden, just shake them up in the, UV, in the um, dry fly shake and they'll float again for you for the rest of the day. This film was proudly brought to you by The Fly Fisher in Melbourne and theflyfisher.com.au where you'll find everything to tie the Commonwealth Hopper and a whole lot more.